Anybody who works in large organisations know that they spend inordinate amounts of time sitting in meetings, making decisions, and ultimately not making very good decisions. And the reasons for that are well known. First of all, our bureaucratic systems have lots of interconnected processes and lots of people who have a stake in making sure that their thing is done well. And we also have this, typically, this almost consensus-based approach where we, we want to make sure that everybody feels OK, and as a result, we end up in sort of lowest common denominator territory. We need to come up with creative, alternative ways of thinking about this. For me, a useful metaphor is the world of traffic, the world of city planning. Because if you think about it, many large cities have struggled with congestion for many years. It turns out they're actually experimenting with some very interesting alternatives. I'll give you two. One is the notion that we should actually dramatically simplify the way in which intersections work. There was a very famous gentleman a few years ago from Holland called Hans Mondermann, and he had this notion, he called it shared space, and he says, actually, to make our traffic systems work you know, more effectively, to actually make things work safer and faster, we need, paradoxically, to make our systems more dangerous and ultimately simpler. So he actually got a couple of towns in Holland to strip out their traffic lights, their markings, their one-way systems, to create shared spaces where the cars, the pedestrians and the cyclists kind of coexisted. And what he found, to his delight, was that by actually taking away the rules, taking away the systems, they actually made it faster and easier for everybody to get around because everybody took responsibility for their own actions. They weren't waiting for somebody else to tell them what to do. They figured it out for themselves. The other interesting innovation I've seen in this space it's, it's called Brace Paradox. A German called Dietrich Brace came up with this observation looking at, for example, New York. There was a famous case in 1990 where they closed 42nd Street in New York. When they closed a road, everyone was predicting that would actually snarl up the traffic even more. It had the opposite effect. It actually, bizarrely, made traffic move more freely. Why is that? Well, you can quickly imagine. One reason was some, some people stayed at home. Another reason was that lots of people figured out alternative routes. So if you twin, twist that on its head, obviously, sometimes when you build an additional route, an additional highway, everybody costs to it and it actually kind of grinds to a halt. So let's just take those two examples and put them into the world of business. Immediately, some interesting possibilities emerge. You know, take the very first one, the idea of shared space. The analogy in the business world is actually we need much simpler processes. We need to simplify our budgeting process, our resource allocation system. Lots of companies are experimenting with things like this. Give much more power to the people who are just making the decisions themselves. Let's simplify the processes that sit above their heads. So simplification is the story there. The story with brace paradox is that sometimes you are the problem. In other words, sometimes when you as a manager are saying, you know, why is it everything is so slow? Sometimes it's because everything flows through you as an individual. You become the bottleneck because you're so convinced of your own importance. Everything has to come through you. And paradoxically, as I say, when you go away on holiday, let's say for two weeks, everything seems to work just fine because people figure out alternative pathways. They ask other people what they should be doing. So it's, it's always, you know, there's always limits to how much you can take a metaphor forward. But for me, We've done a lot of interesting things in the world of traffic planning, and I think we can apply those to take a much more creative look at the way that we make decisions in our large organisations to make them both simpler and more effective.